Hey guys, it's me Dapper Paper Bag, and today I'm going to be creating a kind of European slash British pub slash Italian restaurant kind of styled restaurant <laughs> for the launch of The Sims 4. Now this is up in the gallery so you guys can use it. I, obviously I haven't got the DLC as of yet because it's not out yet but you will be able to download it and change it to your liking. So yeah, so this was actually a very difficult build to do actually because I end up like changing so many different things as you can see and or as you will see I should say and I ended up using a completely different tool as well and I got frustrated because there were just certain things that just wouldn't work and I can't figure out how to get them to work and you'll just see me getting really annoyed in the game but it was a, it was a fun build I'm not gonna lie I really enjoyed it so I've started placing doors I for some reason I always start placing doors and Nine times out of ten when I'm doing builds like this, I'm just like, nah, I don't like them. And I decided with this, I was just like, no, that they wouldn't really use doors if they were in a warmer country. So, yeah, I was just like, if it's a restaurant, it's going to be boiling hot. So why don't they have like little archways? And now I'm just placing down like little half walls. So this is going to be the little kitchen area. And then I start, for some reason... I start placing down the kitchen stuff. I think that's just to kind of remind myself this is the kitchen area. And I don't know what size the cookers are going to have in the DLC, but I added two cookers <laughs> just in case, just to kind of reserve space in case it's like four blocks big or four blocks big? Two blocks big. And uh, yeah. So now I've just put down a half wall just because. I would have put down a fence, but it just looked stupid. And it, it looks stupid when I do that. And I was also trying to play with the roofs, but it just didn't work. And I'd completely forgot that there was a diagonal roof at this point. And I was just like, oh, I'll just go for a flat roof. I mean, it'll look pretty trendy if I give it a flat roof. So you could just see me going, nah, fuck it, we'll go flat. But the only thing is, is it looked super blocky and I can never decide what colour I want the roof to be. But I end up changing that. I end up changing a lot of things in this. It's really funny. So here I kind of went with the windows that you get in the Get Together DLC mainly because they have a kind of European pub style to them. And I decided to put the circle windows in the top just because well, it might add a little bit of diversity in the design rather than just having a square window and I think it looked pretty cool in my opinion so yeah so now I think I'm going to lights this was frustrating first because whenever I go to lay down lights Adobe Premiere Pro just lags out like crazy and I don't know why because it was recorded in 60 frames per second and whenever I go to lay down lights at 60 frames per second Adobe Premiere just has a fit for some reason and I've, I don't know why. So here I'm just kind of blacking out even though there's no black wallpaper or paint the areas that haven't been used. I mean you could change them into like a kind of living area if you wanted to own the restaurant and you know cook in it and sell food and stuff. But like I said, it's again, it's to your discretion. If you want to do that, it's up to you. I didn't want to do that because I just felt like it would have ruined the building. <laughs> but if you guys want to add like an underground area for your sim to live in, then that's cool. Or like an external area. There's like plenty of space on the lot. So you can see at the side, there's like lots of space for you to add like a little house or whatever. So yeah, I forgot to add my cheats before I started building <laughs> and here's where I start messing about with columns and then I decide I don't like the columns after placing them all down and then I'm just like nah and I've also forgot to paint that well I think I paint it later actually but yeah I started messing about with columns and I was like oh I might be able to put a roof on top of those and can I no I cannot and I was just like god damn it 
Like, you used to be able to do that in The Sims 2, and you, like, The Sims 3, and you can't do that now. And then I was just like, nah, I'm just gonna put, like, proper, like, manual columns. I guess you could call them that. And I just decided to build them, and I, just to kind of make it look less flat and just give it a bit more dimension. And, yeah. I've been enjoying the builds, actually, and I decided to, like, make the little outdoor area the same colour just to kind of, again, add a little bit more variety. And then I add another window just to let more light in. Let more light into an outdoor space. Doesn't make sense whatsoever. <laughs> I think it was just there for, like, looks more than anything, really. So here's where I start, like, trying to figure out what colour I'm going to make the roof and then I just decide nah I'll do that later and then I come back and I'm like oh I can make it like this dark colour but then again I end up changing it again so <laughs> once everything's down it gets changed again I think it gets changed like an orangey red and it looks much nicer as an orangey red so now I'm placing down the countertops and I kind of wanted to still make it look trendy and not look too dowdy. However, I can't figure out how to get the corner-based countertops. So if anyone knows a way of how to get those, please tell me in the links in the description. The links in the description? In the comment section below, because I've seen Emma Blackery do it, but I've still no idea how she done that. So now I'm starting to place down the tables and kind of planning out the area and then as I start laying down the tables I realise that the open the openness of the downstairs part of the restaurant just does not work and it looks really horrible so I'm just like we're going to close this in a bit and I start adding in more archways and then I decide oh I might be able to put this like right next to an archway and then I realise that Sims won't be able to get by and I'm just like oh I can't do that, that sucks. <laughs> and so now I'm starting to think about what kind of couples or like friends would come in here and who would come in here like families, friends, couples and yuppies and you know all that kind of stuff and then I was just like Oh, maybe I should like make upstairs just for couples only. Like the outdoors area. And then I'm just like, oh, I could add like a little bar as well. And then you'll see me add that in like a minute. But yeah, I just kind of, I've started to get more into the minds of the people, type of people who would go there and what they would want to do. And you know, all that stuff, which sounds really stupid. I was just like, yeah. Oh, you also, you'll also see I get slightly obsessed with candles, like candles get placed everywhere. <laughs> see, there I go with the candles. Oh, and that bloody half wall done my head in trying to place stuff on it. Oh my god, I got so angry. You, you will see I start placing items on it and it just won't stay and I end up having to use BB Move Object like try and place them and then they start snapping and I'm just like Jesus just go and um yeah it made me really mad <laughs> so yeah more candles candles for days and candles for everyone to be fair it does look really nice I also changed the lighting as well I get rid of like all of the bright lights and then I decide hmm, I'm gonna make this more moody and more nighttime styled because in the UK restaurants particularly in Scotland a lot of the restaurants especially like countryside based ones are really dark and moody and it just works it looks nice and it looks cool and like it's very adult themed and it's very oh hey it's all secretive and you know let's have a good time and let's get wasted kind of feel to it although I don't think this would be the kind of restaurant that you would want to get wasted in. <laughs> so now I'm like placing down mirrors and I love this mirror but I just wish 
that they would work on the graphics a bit more and kind of smooth out the edges a little because now that they've got this super nice lighting like there's so many polygons <laughs> sticking there's not like not enough polygons on the object so it just like makes the object look bumpy and it frustrates me and i'm just like i would really 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 like for the polygons to be a bit smoother or for them to add more polygons would be nice so here start arden adding arden Arden? What's Arden? Adding soap. And I start decorating and that cabinet, well those cabinets, do not stay. Because I just think they look clunky, they get in the way and I find something nicer when I'm trying to decorate upstairs. <laughs> and I'm just like, hmm, I'm not going to use that for upstairs, but I'll use that downstairs. So as you can see, I'm trying to like find candles and plants. They're all too big. I wish there was an option do you know how you can make things smaller? Like if you use one of the brackets or one of the square brackets. I wish you could use the other square bracket to make things smaller. It'd be fantastic if you could do that because then I could put so many things in different places and it would be so much more fun. Especially for picture frames because sometimes you want a small picture frame, you don't want a big one. And then sometimes you find a nice picture and it's too big and it's like, God damn it. So yeah, I feel like they could add that in. It's one of the things that I definitely need to work on. I also need to add a lot more content, but we'll not get into that. <laughs> a lot of people have already been talking about that. I know that Sim Supply and Illigracy have been saying that, and I agree with them completely. Like they're like they're like my favorite Sims YouTubers, but especially Sim Supply, he's like my favorite. Although I thought he was English, I didn't realise that he was Australian until like a couple of weeks ago. His accent is not like super thick. And I just thought he was English. <laughs> Which is really bad of me, but I, yeah. He's, he's a really cool YouTuber though, you guys should check him out. I really enjoy his content. Actually, he just done this amazing build. I don't know if it was just fairly recently, but he done this like... It was a fusion between a modern house and a tree house and it was just it blew my mind because I was just like I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> so now I'm placing rugs and again I wish there was more variety in rugs because I get frustrated because there's rugs that won't sit like fit certain tables and don't fit in with my decor so then I'm just like no nah, I'll just leave some tables without rugs and then upstairs I'm just like Okay, I'll just put rugs on the outdoor ones. Although there is a couple of indoor ones. Rugs. And then I decide well, the bartender is going to get like sore feet from standing on like concrete the whole time. So I was just like, right, I'm going to give him a carpet. So now I start like thinking about what kind of staff I'm going to have there and stuff. And now I start playing with this wall and I'm, I get really annoyed because I'm like, I want something that will fit in, but something that's not too clean. And I find something that isn't clean. It is amazing. And here's where I start changing the, the paving and kind of add a bit more red. And it kind of gives it that European feel, I think. But I just, I feel like there could have been so much more, like looking back, there could have been so much more I could have done with the architecture of the building. But it's done now <laughs> and I start adding like a coffee machine just because I love coffee and other people might want coffee and then I'll start thinking about hmm, maybe people might want some in incent not incest incent I always get that word I always mispronounce it as incest so yeah some people might want incest this ain't Game of Thrones this is the Sims here's where I start getting frustrated because I start trying to lay the sauces and like they hover, they don't sit and then I had to like fix it when I went into the live mode and oh my god it made me so mad that I couldn't get it to go properly without like fucking merging it in. Like, it'd be great if again you could like smooth place things vertically without it being attached to a wall. But, yeah, so here's like, I start like thinking about the outdoors and adding flowers and stuff. And I hate those wild flowers. They're, they, 
don't get me wrong, they work in certain builds, but sometimes I just wish that I could like customize them a little bit more and like take out areas that they sit in and yeah, I can't and that's annoying. <laughs> It'd also be good if I could change the colours. And then now I start adding in lines and curtains and I spend like an age trying to figure out what curtains go where and I can't remember what colour I end up. I like, I, I still like the green. I don't know if I end up, I don't think I do go with the green. And then I realise that the curtains downstairs just look far too much. And I'm just like, no. I will only have upstairs curtains. And then I find this really cute canopy. And I'm just like, yes! So now it looks like a little bistro. It's so cute. And oh, I was so happy when I found that. On You have no idea how happy that made me. And then I started adding in coffee cups because, you know, we'd have coffee cups. And then I realised those two sinks that I placed the pots over wouldn't, like your sims wouldn't be able to use them because like, for some reason they can't use them and that's they can't use anything when that's above them so I added in an extra sink so now that I've added in a window <laughs> I decide I'm going to cover that window <laughs> using ivy so yeah it's a little waste of a window but you know and now I start like adding in little menus and I try my best to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with that little corner and I think this is where, yes, that's the thing that I put in the bathroom. <laughs> so I find that and I'm just like, that doesn't work there, but it'll work in the bathrooms because that's what I was looking for in the first place and I couldn't find it. And um, yeah, it was just, so there I go again with the incense and holy shit, I managed to see it. <laughs> and again with the candles, here I go with the candles. I think another candle gets laid down as well. Yep, and there's going to be a candle laid here at some point. I also think it's a great idea to put an urn here at some point. And I'm just like, this might work. Then I realise it looks too symmetrical and then I'm just like, nah. And then I start placing things at the top of the staircase and I'm just like, this might work and this might work and it just doesn't. I wish we could use that camera. I think that would just be so much fun to be able to take pictures. See, I thought if I could make that smaller, I could have put that along the bottom and that would have looked really cool. And there I go with the candles again. Like, I am obsessed with candles on this build. It's not even funny. I'm pretty sure there's like probably over, I'm going to say over 15 candles. Yeah, there's definitely over 15 candles now. <laughs> Like I say, like I like my candles and then I decide, oh this tea tray might look good and then I'm just like, no because it doesn't fit, it looks stupid. Again, if I could make it smaller, it would have been nicer, but yeah. And then I realised there's a build that I've done that doesn't come out until Saturday but I recorded it before I recorded this, where I used that plant and I remembered that I have that plant in that build and I was like, that would fit so perfectly there. And then I start laying down grass at the bottom and then I'm just like, nope, that is too hip and too trendy for this place. I mean, like, it wants, I want it to be a hip and trendy place, but I also don't want it to be too trendy. I kind of want it to have at least some bit of a rustic exterior. Do you know what I mean? And then I start thinking, hmm, people might want music because restaurants tend to have music in the background, so... I then decided to place the speakers in places I wouldn't see them because it would just infuriate me <laughs> as a player. It just, um, speakers annoy me. I don't know why, they just do. Like, I usually tend to put mods in of where like, I use like iPods or whatever instead just because I just don't like the speakers. And now I start playing around with curtains again. I'm just like, I want something that's nice, but not too nice. And then I lay these down. For some reason, like they're all the same color, but in one of the screenshots, one of the curtains looks like a different color. And I have no idea why. Oh yeah, and here's like, after all that time I've spent like screwing around with the paintings, I replaced them with windows. 
And um, yeah, like I tend to like get, I'm really sorry, I tend to get like super distracted and leave and kind of bang on and on and on. But here we're coming to the screenshots and as you can see I'm pretty proud of it. It looks so pretty, it's so nice. And here you have one of my sims. And yeah, that's the interior. Or half that's a toilet. That's the other toilet. And here are two of my sims just chilling, having food. Their friend's downstairs because she's just arrived. And there's the bar. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, duck duck! <laughs>